Hello guys, welcome to our channel Game on Dude. Today I will be showing you one of the best formations uh, that you can use in eFootball Mobile 2024 that I have been using for my division push and it helped me a lot. I think you guys uh, can, if you guys can use this formation in the right way and use the right set of players, it will be very difficult for your opponents to beat you. And I think some of you guys have already been using this formation, but I would like to give you some useful insights and tricks that you guys might not know about this formation. So this formation is none other than the 4132 formation. So please watch the video in full and don't skip any part. Otherwise you may not execute the formation well and may miss out on the bonus tips that I will be giving you in between the video. So let's get started. Uh, the formation you are seeing here, uh, this is of the Paraguay formation that was there the previous year, the 2023 eFootball. But now this formation is not available. But another 4132 formation is available. The AMF is a bit higher. So let me show you. So I have to go to the uh, base team setting. And uh, from there, uh, from base team, uh, go to Europe, then Spanish, second division. And then from there, go to Levante Ari. And push down. And then go to change formation, default. And here you go. And I would say, mind you, if you are a, uh, only a quick counter or a long ball counter player, then only use this formation. But don't try this formation for a position game because you it will be very difficult for you to play and also win. I would say. So only use quick counter and long ball. And if you and one thing about this formation, if you are a goal up in the final stage and want to protect your lead, use full defensive mode in this formation. And you will see a different level of you know defense because it would be very difficult for your opponent to uh, to break through your. You know, midfield and even touch your defensive line also, I would, I would say. Now, starting in the goal, always use the offensive team with good awareness, reflex and reach. I use Manuel Neuer, as you can see. And in my sub, my star Stegen, he is a very good short stopper. And I also use Deja. He hasn't been performing good lately, so I have kept him in the, you know, I've been not been using him. I replaced him with, you know, Manuel Neuer. But he is also good. And now coming on the defense. Yeah, always use a pair of destroyer and a build up always or you can go also for a build up or a extra front man as you like because i used to have a jules kunde and let me show you this kunde i use this kunde for uh paired it up with you know van Dijk. and now going for the full back so this depends how you want to approach the game if you want to go offensive then you can obviously use you know two offensive full back but i would rather say it's better for you to keep at least a defensive full back either you can use costa kutta and pair it up with robertson or you know uh, trent alexander arnold because costa kutta can play on both sides and even pavard also so and the thing is that always give a pinpoint crossing to both your full back now moving to the dma position always use an anchor man like i use you know, here fabino uh, Pamino is an obviously an anchor man and I use Casemiro in my sub -bench. and if you have a Gilbar to Silva that he's a best he's the best to get him and if you don't have him use Fabino this version of Fabino is like a you know complete is a light version of Gilbar now coming to the AMF position in the AMF always make sure to use a whole player always look I, I am using Dalingham he's a whole player and this player should have a 90 plus passing look he has a 91 and with a good speed, dribbling and offensive awareness and also standing. He has an awareness of 82 and he has a speed of 85 because he's a bit low on the acceleration part. Yeah, I also feel him during the match because sometimes you know players do catch him up on the back. So that becomes a problem. And he has a good stamina. And the thing is that double touch is a must. You must have a double touch because he will uh, a single double touch will cut you know, one or two players from the middle. And that will create a huge opportunity. He, he one thing uh, he has a problem is he doesn't have a you know, long range shooting you know, that's required. Don't use any uh, PAT playmakers or any other player. Always make sure to use a whole player, and uh, it will help your forwards a lot because they need the support. So that is why. Now coming on to the NMF and RMF position. For me, I think it is the one of the most important position, and I use mostly use players uh, who are uh, mostly LVs and RVs, and I use them in the LMF and RMF position. I'll say why I use them a bit later. And the players that I use are Jordi Alba and and you know backing him up is Andy Robertson. He is also a left back and I use him play him in a LMF position because he has a uh, he can play in the LMF position also. And the best player in the RMF is Cancel. Hands down. You know, if you have him, do play him in the RMF position. He's the best. Okay. And uh, next I use him with him is uh, default. Paul is also a good one. He lacks in a bit of speed, 
his uh, loft is good but his speed is a bit less now the main reason is that uh, you know you know the full bags the lv the rv have a good crossing normally if not all but some of them has a good crossing like jordi alva even andy roberts are very clear in pn if you will see and also di marco you know if you have a feature card of di marco he has also a good lofted pass and also a good you know speed they will also help you in defense his defensive awareness and stats are also there to help you in defense also and they will have a you know pinpoint they should have a pinpoint there make sure that your lmfs and rmfs lvs and rp were playing in lmf rmf they have a pinpoint for it is very much useful and also have a interception skill if it is also required and give them a track by also so the power players so try using a combination of a poacher or a deep lying forward uh, or a hold player i would say hold player with a ss you know uh, make him ss and play him. i think it would be the best hold player with a uh, hold poacher is the best combination because hold players do fall back to receive your ball and also they make good runs i think the main thing is that make sure that your forwards have a good heading so you know, they should have good heading and jumping make sure because even if their you know height is not that much good but assign some of those focusing points in heading and jumping and give them a heading skill or an aerial superiority skill 